Hi everybody, it's Rachel at Lamb. Um, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be painting a pumpkin. When I was uh, uh, advertising this program, I was like, paint a pumpkin, which I was like, people are going to think we're going to be painting on a pumpkin because it's how it's the fall and that's when you paint on a pumpkin. Um, but we're going to be painting a pumpkin on canvas. Um, you should have picked up your kit here at Lamb. If you haven't picked one, your kit up, we still have it available, but um, we only have a few left, so um, you'd have to pick it up soon. Right now, we're only um, open for curbside pickup. We did close to in-person um, um, patrons can't come inside right now, but you can do curbside pickup. We do, um, I do have the kits by curbside. Um, so we, for Halloween, I don't know if you, if you did get the opportunity to come into land before we closed to the public, we did a pumpkin display for the Halloween pumpkin display. We did the blue moon Halloween. Um, and I did a couple things. I 3d printed a few things and painted them for it. Like my little lamb, he's little skeleton lamb. So I used the 3d printer and then painted him black and then put the little white bones on him. And then I 3D printed little um, pumpkins and then painted them with little faces. Uh, so it's pretty fun. Um, actually, I think it's Monday. I'm going to be doing a live 3D printing video on Facebook and YouTube. So you can check that out. Um, and this week, they'll be sharing my YouTube video of our Halloween pumpkin display, which we won staff favorite. So we got some yummy goodies and treats for it. Um, so if you want to see that, the YouTube video will be posted to our Facebook too. Um, anyways, we're going to be painting our pumpkin. This is what it's going to hopefully end up looking like. It's just the top view of a pumpkin. Um, if you picked up your kit inside of it, you should have one canvas. Um, you should have your paint and these colors we're gonna hopefully be what we need when we mix everything together to go through that it's pretty some fall festive fall colors you should have a paper plate and some cups so you can put some water in the cups then we can use the paper plate to uh, mix our colors just to get it to the right color we want um there's a little thing in there that tells you when it is and then details of what should be in there because you should have a detail paintbrush which is the small tiny one and you should also have a foam paintbrush so um that's what should be in your kit if you didn't receive all that stuff no worries just call me at lamb and i can get you um anything you're missing so let's just start off by unwrapping the canvas because there's going to be a plastic wrap around it so we need to take that off before we start and um, from home you will want newspaper to protect your surfaces you'll want the water in the cup and then you probably need paper towels so i go ahead and grab those and then a pencil if you want to sketch the stem before you start painting which i'm going to do so that i can know exactly where my stem is going to be if you have any questions, please just post them. I will I will answer them as I see them. Let me see if I can open this. <laughs> this plastic doesn't want to open. This is Rachel cannot open things. 101. Okay, oh I got it. So remember, take off the plastic. And then your canvas is all ready and we can start the process. I'm not a painter. This is just, um, I don't know, my second time painting things like this. Um, so don't, don't base it on my skill. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's is going to look great. Um, let me see. So I'm going to, as you can see, this is the one that I did already. I'm going to pick the spot for my, 
um, stem. It's going to be a little bit higher than the middle. And I'm just going to kind of draw sort of like a star shape, kind of. Just make it kind of look like a stem. And if it looks different, all pumpkins are unique. So just like us, we're unique too. So I'm just gonna make it a swirl, just like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Well, I'm not mad about it. So that's gonna be the outline of my stem so that I know where it's gonna be um, for painting it. And then what you would do for the lines from, we can kind of gently outline. There'll be the lines coming from each of these ends to make that pumpkin shape. I'm gonna put one here. And I didn't include any black paint in your kit, but one thing that you could do if you have black paint or black Sharpie or paint pen or something, when we're finished with this, I would think it would be great. You could do thankful, fall, autumn, harvest, any, you could write a word here and have it just as like a decoration for the fall time because I feel like this is pretty festive and cute and could be used as that. So we want to put the wings of the stem, just lines like that. So this is what I have so far, just paint, um, drawn on there with the pencil, and now we can start in on the color. Okay. I'm probably going to start with the stem, just because, why not? So I'm going to open up the green. I'm just going to see if I can put I'm just going to take some on my foam brush and just actually just put it in there. Fill in the, just make it all green. Uh, if you get outside the line, it's fine. It's going to look good no matter what. I'm just going to kind of tap gently. And just get in there. And then I'll use the detail brush to get to the edges because Sure. Like I said, I'm not a painting expert. This is just for fun. So <laughs> don't quote me on this. Okay, I'm actually going to switch to the small brush and do my lines. I'm just going to draw my lines with this brush. You can just draw right where you did the pencil markings. And then we're going to use um, brown to make the contrast. It's not just going to look like a green blob, hopefully. Or it might, but it's fine. We're just drawing a happy little pumpkin. How's everybody doing? I haven't seen any comments yet. Is anybody there? <laughs> Hello? That's really bright green. I don't know which. I think I ran out of one color green and then had to do a different color green. For... I'm not sure what color green this is. This is just acrylic paint, um, apple brown, I believe. Okay, so that's what my stem is looking like so far. I'm gonna close my green and take some of that green off my paintbrush and then open the brown. 
I'm going to use the brown to kind of like highlight the stem, which we can always wait because this might be a little wet. Um, you might want to like let it dry a little bit before you do this part. Let's see, I might let it sit for a little bit. Drink some water. How's everybody's November's going? It's been a year. I, I, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Okay. I'm going to draw my line up. Kind of like in the shape of the stem. A little bit of curve to it. Make it curl. You know, make it cute. Because pumpkins are cute. Let's see. Go around there. Around there. And you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it. It can be unique. Pumpkins can be looks so different every single pumpkin you know there's i used to work at one of the farms out in the county and we had orange pumpkins yellow pumpkins green pumpkins blue pumpkins we had pumpkins that had um what looked like peanuts growing on them um we, we had literally every kind of pumpkin you could ever imagine so pumpkins are unique just like us like i said so no need to fret if yours looks different. Let me make a little curly up here. See if I can make it cute. Like a swirl. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's kind of a dark color, so it's kind of hard to see on the video. Or maybe that's just my bad eyesight. But right now we've only used green and brown so far. I'm just going to outline this with the brown. I always want to be perfect, so I'm trying to, I'm like, let me make it perfect, but really, sometimes you just have to say that's good enough, and then move on to the next step. Um, for now, I think I'm going to do that. I might come back in with some more brain or something after this dries a little bit. Um, so I'm going to just wash out my brush in the water. And now we're going to start in, um, let me see, what color should we do? I'm going to start with the red coming in from the middle because we're going to, I'm going to make it, as you can see here, I'm going to make it kind of like starburst out. So it's going to have like red, orange to yellow, kind of like get, um, get darker to lighter coming out in an ombreage. So I'm going to rinse out my foam brush. If you need to like, actually put it under the sink and wash it like that you might need to do that too because these get a lot of paint in them my water's already turned green now the foam brushes yeah they just eat a lot of paint Let's see and it's always fine if you still have some color left on your brush. I should have got some more water. Let's 
it's not gonna ruin your painting. It's gonna look great. We'll just blend everything. Let's just blend it all. Okay, so I'm gonna open the red and I'm just gonna dip into the red. Like I said, you could we can use the plate for blending or we can just, I'm just going straight into the pots because you know what? YOLO, you only live once, guys. Okay, so let's see. This, I'm just gonna lay down some red. And with, we don't need much really. And with these foam brushes, if you keep pulling, it kind of gets that like, kind of, oh, it looks like a chili pepper. <laughs> kind of like starts fading a little bit and then gets that like, I don't know, rustic feel. I don't know how to explain it. My work, my English right now is not very good, <laughs> but just, Put it and then pull. Put it in the middle. What is, if I knew the painting technical terms, then, but here we go. Sorry about that. Going off on a tangent. I'm just gonna lightly brush red onto this pumpkin. Ooh, see? Look what I did. I pulled some of the green into my red, which is fine. We're blending, remember. Don't fret. We can figure it out. It is about that like cold time of the year that the, the chilies turn to red instead of green. Kind of looks like a chili. And as you can see, I'm pulling some of the green and brown, which is fine because those are our, those are our shaded spots. So we want to do that to add dimension. So I think that's enough red. I don't even know if we need that much red, um, depending on how dark you want your pumpkin to be. Uh, so now I'm going to close the red, and I'm going to get some orange and take some of the red off of my paintbrush like I said these foam ones like just get a lot of paint up on them so I'm gonna open the orange and orange is like the main color of a pumpkin so don't worry be liberal with the orange just throw it on there Yeah, see that? And just blend it in there. In your sections, like that we had sectioned out with the paint pencil. Kind of like the bumpy shape of your pumpkin. It's going to look strange at first, but then you're going to see it. Don't worry, keep going. Like that. Just keep pulling. Just keep painting. All I'm doing is this kind of brush stroke, pulling it down, pulling it through the red so it gets that red sunburstish coloring, I guess you could say. Like that. And I'm going to get it all over my hands. Let's see. Okay. How's everybody doing? I haven't seen any comments. I hope you're all well. And feel free to add more red if you think it needs more red. Add more orange if you think it needs to be darker. Add some green. 
purple will come back towards some green. I'm just going to paint up to finish off the top area with orange. Let's see. I'm trying to keep my brush strokes the same direction. So it's kind of like bursting out all around like a flower, as you can see. So now I'm going to just close that and take some yellow. I was worried I wouldn't have enough paint, but I feel like I gave a generous amount, so we're gonna be good. I'm just gonna pull the yellow from about halfway down the orange and pull it to the ends, just like so. And then after we pull the yellow, we can put some more orange in if it's too yellow. This is just to get that color contrast that like the sun is shining on your pumpkin, I guess. And this is using blending, which is a good technique to have. Dimension, a little bit of depth to this painting. Like I said, I'm keeping that same brush stroke that I'm just pulling it out. Sorry, I'm brush stroking the camera. It's getting hit by my knee. Okay. What am I missing? That's not good at Let me get some more orange. And if you make any mistakes like I just did, it's totally easy to fix it. <laughs> just put some more orange on there and pull it out. Just like that. I might need to get the detail paint brush because it does get a little bit hard to get in those crevices. Kind of like that. There we go. So we're going to, um, I might need to let it dry a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Leaving it not dry kind of helps with the pulling of the colors. So it's not bad. I'm going to get some more orange and put it here just to fill the color a little better. And Make sure to like exaggerate those those bumps of the pumpkin. So this is what it looks like so far. Like I said, I might go back in to paint on this time a little bit, but for now we're going to do um, some shading of oh, the bump, the creases in the pumpkin. We're going to use some brown. So I'm going to get brown. And I'm just going to pull along those lines. You can do it as harshly or as soft as you want. Um, depending on how deep you want your crevices to be on your pumpkin. I actually read a picture book, um, I can't remember what it was called, uh, How Many Seeds in a Pumpkin, I think it was, and I read it to my nieces, and it said it didn't matter what size the pumpkin is to know how many seeds there would be, because most of the kids thought the most seeds would be in a bigger pumpkin but um, it matters I think how many lines are on the pumpkin because all of these lines have a line of um, seeds so there's your pumpkin fact for the day just in case you really needed one so I think those are a bit harsh I don't know but I'm going to blend them in now so don't worry about it I'm gonna take 
some of the red. go out more because you can see you can keep pulling them while it's not dry yet you can still keep doing whatever doing it there you go I'm not mad about it okay I'm gonna take some red and I'm gonna just go along the a little bit. Just a, well, just a dab will do you, but here I go. Here we go. Okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna put some more orange on there, so it's not gonna look so. What's happening there right now? But I'm gonna pull this so you can hold hold your brush like this and then just kind of pull it like that, just like that. There we go. Now I'm going to get orange. Paint this. Ooh. Don't want to lose that. So I'm going to get some more orange and I'm going to put it inside these things again. Kind of pull it out. Just to make it more clean and more pumpkin like. This year I didn't get to go to the pumpkin patch, so that was sad. I usually go to the pumpkin patch. I like to go to the the haunted corn maze, but at least we're staying safe. That's the most important thing. I hope everybody's staying safe. Because we have a lot to be thankful for. Hmm. I'm sort of like thinking my first one came out better, but you know, sometimes sometimes it just comes out how it wants to come out. So I'm gonna put some more yellow on the end. Bring some more light into it. So if you didn't pick one of these kits up or if you want to get a kit, just call me at LAM and you, it can be a good thing to paint to be safe at home during um, these hard times. Something it's, I think painting, even if you're not an expert at painting, it kind of is good for um, anti-anxiety because I know I have a lot of anxiety. So whenever I do a craft or painting, it helps me in kind of like a meditation process. So. No matter what it comes out looking like, we did it on our own, and we should be proud. And yeah, as you can see, it just adding the different colors adds so much dimension to it to make it kind of look like it's a real pumpkin. Now, if you hold it far away, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Isabel. I hope you're having fun. Look, I've made, it looks like I made like modern art on my napkins. Look at that. Ooh. What do you see in the ink blot? Okay. So I'm going to go back in with the detail brush on my stamp. So 
so let's see what I'm going to do. I do have white. I didn't even use it yet. I don't know why. So I'm going to put some of the white onto my plate and maybe add a little bit of brown to it so that I can make a little lighter, like, stem color. And then I think I'm going to pull some green into the actual pumpkin. You know, you don't have to do this. You can make it whatever, like I said, whatever you want your pumpkin to look like. It's, it's all up to you. And when you finished your pumpkins, please email me or um, post them in the comments so that I can see them and I can post them to um, Facebook. I'm going to make kind of like a lighter brown. Make the stem kind of brown. Mix it up a bit. You know, pumpkin stems are usually sort of like a brown, green, whatever they are. It could be purple if you wanted, but I didn't include any purple, so you'd have to bring that from home. I kind of like how it's turning out. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to add some more dark brown again to add that lines. And this video will be, is recorded and will be on our YouTube and Facebook. So if you need to come back and watch anything again, you can. Or if you have any tips or pointers for anybody, just put them in the comments. Everybody can read them. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna, like I said, take a li little bit. My brush is still changing now. I'm gonna take a little bit of green and pull it into the pumpkin because you know pumpkins sometimes have some greenness in them. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in. So let's see. Let's see if I can get the green out there. Just dab it a little bit so it's not as harsh. You can just dab it on your um, your napkin. And then yeah, I'm just gonna pull some green into the Green. This won't look good. 
and then you can just really just play with it do whatever you think is going to make it look unique and cool for you I might add some more orange some more orange because I think I put a little bit too much green but I think it's going to be beautiful no matter what I'll just write something nice on it and give it to my mom for Thanksgiving since I won't be able to see her. She can put it up on her wall. She'll like it because, you know, mom's always like, what are you doing? And I think it's funky looking. <laughs> Dimension to the bumpiness. You really can can't do too much. Well, I guess you could do too much, but who cares? It's art. If it looks like, no, it doesn't even look like a pumpkin. Like, it's art. It doesn't really matter. And I really love these foam brushes because, like I said, you can just pull and it makes it so cool. I bet. Um, it looks, I, I don't know, I like how it turned out. Um, like I said, share pictures of what you, you what yours came out like. Um, I'm just interested to see. This was like, as I said, my first one. It's more bright. This one's a little more, I don't know, harvesty colored. But just um, share your paintings. Um, by emailing me them or putting them in the comments and if you have any questions or anything else just give me a call or shoot me an email um, I'm always down for questions um, have a great day and have a happy Thanksgiving stay safe and um, keep everybody around you safe um, but blessings to you all goodbye